Welcome back guys, it's Maury here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Chamber and specifically how to set up when you're defending a site on all of the maps here in Valorant. Not only how to do it on every map, but on every site within every map. This took a long time to put together. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's dive in. All right, guys, so our first map is going to be Ascent and specifically the A site. I'm going to show you guys how to defend this. Now, previously, a lot of chamber players would put it right on the main door as people would enter. But now that you only have one tripwire, we're going to place it at tree, specifically yeah, right spot. here. So it is watching anyone who tries to enter from cubby. From there, we are going to want to throw one TP up on top of any of the boxes. It could have been here, could have been here. Could have been up there, but I'm going to put it here for this example. The reason for that is we're trying to get an off angle to get a sneaky peek. And good. right now we have set one up in garden as well. So now I can TP onto site and I'm set ready for the start of the round. So now if someone was to push in, I can get a cheeky little one tap. Maybe uh, I'm terrible and I miss all my shots. Either way, I can bail straight back to garden. And then, especially if someone pulls from cubby into tree, our tripwire is going to tell us we can TP into garden and swing round and go for that pick. Okay, guys, so to start the round, we are going to put our first TP right here off the entrance from spawn, and then we're going to come straight down, and we are going to put our tripwire on top of the box behind default plant. Then we're going to head into boathouse, and we are going to put a trip right here. Reason for that is we can TP straight away at the start of the round. You want to get all this done at the start of the round so it doesn't actually start your cooldown on your TP. Now we're set in spawn, ready to peek the first people who try and push site. Let's say maybe Phoenix puts a wall down and they all run onto site and all of a sudden you can't see anything or you get smoked off. You can then wait for your tripwire to go off knowing that they're on site. Second it does, you TP to back site and you can swing and peek it and pick up a potential kill that way. So now we're on Haven and we're on the A site. How I like to do this is I'm going to put one TP up in Heaven. I'm then going to drop down onto site, not losing any health by dropping onto the box there. Throw our second TP out behind the box there. And then normally the wall would be here to start the round. So wait for it to start. The second the wall actually disappears to start the round, you can actually place your trip there without ever stepping out. This is the most common way that people are going to push up. So I'm going to literally sit here and I can swing off my trap. They're not going to be expecting anything behind that pillar because they haven't seen anyone cross their line of sight actually into that section. So I'll put that there. Second it goes off, we go for a nice little peek. You may get wide swung by like two or three people here. So if you get a pick or if you look like you're going to die, you TP straight back to heaven. Then I'll actually pick this up in heaven and I'm going to rotate back around and I might put it like somewhere closer to B, for example. And then basically I could work my way back onto site to help defend again. And if it gets a little bit dicey on site, I can bail out to B, wait for backup from my team. But it allows you just to have a few different goes and uh, you can reuse that one TP in the center the entire time. So for B and C site, I actually use TPs between both. So you can actually protect and help defend on both sites at the same time. So if you put your first TP up on this box at B, and then we run round to C, we can throw run straight on C site. This is great for if you have like two at a force, for example, you can pull this out and you can basically be opping down C long. Then let's say I take a shot, I miss, I get the kill, whatever, or no one's here and I hear that they're pushing B, I can then rotate straight back to B and be here to help. Now, where would you put your trademark for this example? I like to put my trademark in particular okay. right here because I find most people actually come in facing this direction right here. So that's gonna get them in the back. And if the tripwire goes off, you could TP onto site to uh, help out. So first things first that I like to do on a site for bind is put a retreat TP oh, in. And from there, we can basically move forward in the map. And if you want to go for an aggressive attack, you could place it like right here on this box. And then we could basically, the second the round starts, you can place your trap right there. The second the trap goes off, you can swing, go for a kill, TP back, recall this one, 
and then we can move straight up and replace it 20 seconds later in U-Haul and you can start basically peeking for another angle from there. For B-Site, there are two strategies I like to mix and match. You can put one right here on the center box and then we can put one right up. I like to try and get it as far in this corner as possible. The reason for that is when you TP up here, I like to put my trademark out here in the open. The reason that I actually do it is I'm baiting them to destroy it. So um, actually, like if I put it all the way over here, for example, they're going to see it and shoot it. And even if it stuns them, I'm not in a position to swing it. So I want them to specifically look at this one while I'm sitting in the corner. I'm safe from hookah. They can't see me. The second they swing that and it either shoots them or they shoot it, I swing and go for a kill, right? After you've used that, you obviously don't want to do that every round because they're going to predict it. I would put your retreat TP in this corner here. And then I would have one up here like this so we can peak the aggressive angle. And I would put a trademark right there behind this box. Reason for that is you can go for a peak, go for the kill, TP. And then when they push in, this is their point of view. They're going to be checking back site here. They're going to be checking here and they get shot by the trademark because they're not going to be staring at a box like this and getting shot from back site. So when you TP, you instantly want to move around in a position and you just wait here. The second that the TP, uh, the sorry, the trademark actually gets triggered, then you can swing and go for a kill. Starting off on Fracture at the A site, we are going to first put a TP right on top of this toolbox right here. And then we're actually going to run to top site and we are going to put another TP up on top site. Top site is a terrible location to stand generally because you can get just clipped from so many different angles. However, then we're going to drop down and we are going to place our trademark right here behind this box. From there, we can go back up top and we can actually TP across to this large box. Now, the doors that are over here behind us will trigger and we'll hear a sound if someone comes through. If someone comes to the other side, we can actually, our trademark will trip and then we can TP over and we can then peak the angle to swing from here. If, however, we're just waiting, no one's come yet, what we want to be doing is watching back A. So I'm effectively, I've set this up, I'm watching back A, I hear, either hear the doors go behind me and I can turn around to engage someone and catch them on a really good off angle. If no one comes back A, no one comes double doors, but the team is rushing long, I can TP across and then wide swing to try and pick someone up who may not be expecting me to be top sight. And if I get rushed, then I can bail out from there. And now we have B site. So the first place I like to plant my trip is going to be actually behind this box. The reason for that is if someone is pushing back site and they come around here, they're clearing angles, they're gonna get pinned. And if they try and be sneaky and go straight up to tower, they're also going to be pinned. So from here, then I'm going to go and put a TP right here, right against the wall on top of this large box. And then we're going to head straight up to tower and put our second one right here. So what we can do now is we can basically wait. And if someone trips our tripwire, we can peek it. Or if we wanted to, we could be peeking here to help with anyone who's pushing through B main. Let's say we get shot at from here. We rotate around, we get shot at from here or they know we're here. We can then pull off here and this gives us a great off angle to both back of B. So we can basically trick anyone who was coming that way. And we've also got this awesome off angle here for anyone rushing from B main. All right, for Breeze on A site, we're going to first place our tripwire right here behind the doors in tunnel. That way we can know whether anyone is flanking us and we can then put one on orange box. And you can pick an off angle from here. Like you could pick something like top pyramid. If I can get that, step back here. Now you can see very rarely anyone's gonna come out aiming at the top of the pyramid. They're gonna be aiming this way or they're gonna be aiming on site and you can get a nice little pick. Especially if your team actually smokes it, the enemy will feel safe heading into like this section here. And then all of a sudden you can actually pick up a nice little kill from there. Retreat back. You can recall that first one and you can actually just put your TP, throw it back here. 
after 20 seconds, then you've got this little angle that you can continue to hold as your teammates rotate in. And you've got various different angles, but let's say they plant, they start really putting pressure on you. After that time, you can rotate back off even further and wait for your team just to make sure you don't die and put your team into a 4v5. For B site, we're going to first place our tripwire right here, that which works. is gonna get anyone coming in from mid. From there, we can throw down a TP right here in this little nook that the, we have in the wall, and we can run straight over to back site and place another right here. Then we can, before the round starts, TP straight back here, and we're set, watching, waiting for the entry on B main. If anyone pushes and trips our tripwire, we can peek them. And if we feel like we're getting pushed from here and there, we can TP to backside. We can push anyone who's pushed up really far. We can peek this angle or we can come this way and we can peek this angle to mid. So you've got lots of different options to basically hold down the site and try and delay while your team gets there. On A site for split, we want to put our first TP right up here in heaven behind this little box. And then we're actually going to drop down and put our second TP on elbow. Then from there, before the round starts, we TP back into heaven and we wait here, ready for the round to start so that we can actually put our trip wire down. Then we're gonna back up from there and we're gonna hold this angle waiting for anyone who pushes up to get tripped by the trip wire. So you're pretty much just sitting back so they can't kill you. Second, they get tripped, you peek the corner, go for a kill. You may find there's two or three people coming up to heaven. So you get a cheeky peek. Then you quickly pull back to elbow and you can watch heaven in case they swing. Or if the rest of the team is rushing site, you then have a nice little angle this way. An alternative strategy to this would be teleporters in the exact same place, except you can actually put your tripwire okay. up to the top here and that would actually get it here and you could do it in reverse. So let's say that you actually peek this, you're peeking short, the second you don't peek until it goes off, it goes off, then you peek, then you teleport straight up here, and then you can swing anyone who's in heaven, or you could just sit back waiting for them to go and check this window, and you get a nice little easy kill there. For the B site, we are gonna put our trip wire right here on the inside of heaven, so we know if someone is pushed from mid, from there we can go and put our first TP right here on the edge of rafters, then we can drop down and we can put it up maybe top corner here, we can put it up here. What we're looking for is an off angle that they're not gonna expect. If someone smokes it or whatever, you can also see over the top. But from here, what we might do is we'll try and get this back as far as possible. Then you jump up here, you can TP before the start of the round, up here, TP straight back. And now we're in the corner on top of the box, waiting for a nice little pick. Let's say all of a sudden our trip wire goes off in heaven, we can TP back to rafters and then peek the angle from there to try and clean it up. Okay guys, so first things first, we have defense on A site. Now you're gonna to want to put your trip wire right here on this corner for anyone who's flanking around here because chances are a lot of your team are gonna be holding the site over on this side. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna get up in the tower to begin with and we're gonna put our TPs one there. And the second one, we are gonna put right here on this corner. Reason for that is you can actually TP from here straight over to this site and you can get a nice little peek here to get the first people rotating in. They're not going to expect anyone to be sitting here and that way you can basically go for a kill. Whether you get the kill or not, you can straight away TP off and you're set up again and they don't know where you are again. Now you can actually swing off your trademark here to pick up anyone who's slowed but basically you want to be aiming here because most people coming through here aren't going to be looking up like this. So they're not going to be looking for you. So if you're just aiming here, concentrating on that, then this will actually tell you if anyone comes to this corner anyway, and then you can swing them, obviously. All right, for defense on B, I am gonna put my trademark right here on the garbage bags in kitchen. And from there, we're gonna set up one TP right here out the back. And then we are gonna push right up the front into the site. And we're gonna put one right here. So now we can be on site with our team helping hold angles. And then if our trademark gets tripped because we're getting flanked through kitchen, we simply TP back and we're ready to swing the person and go for the encounter. 